Hey everyone, thanks for clicking. This is Rocky and I hope all is going well. Alright, it's time to talk about episode 2 of Vixen. I'm really impressed with this web series so far and still highly encourage everyone to check it out. So this is a direct continuation of episode 1 and we definitely learn a couple new things this week. Mari on instinct uses the Tantu totem to summon up the powers and skills of a gorilla, lion, kangaroo, and I think they may have thrown a leopard in there too. The animation looks great, and the fact that they have her shadow change to that of the animal she's mimicking was a pretty slick way to let the viewers know what's going on. Needless to say, Mari wipes the floor with the punks that attacked her and her foster father. Based on the look on her face when her power kind of released, it seems they may end up playing off the idea of the morphogenic field, also referred to the red in the comics. Essentially, it's kind of a magical energy she naturally taps into to take on the abilities of animals. With the powers comes the side effect of actually taking on the personality traits such as aggression, killer instinct, and in some cases outright destructive tendencies of these animals. In the more modern version of the character, it was revealed that the Tantu Totem is actually more of a buffer from this magical field that prevents it from taking too strong a hold on Mari. Though it's still too early to tell how they are handling the aspects of her powers, has me wondering if she's actually going to eventually be able to take on the properties of long extinct animals like dinosaurs, as well as the ability to manipulate and kind of combine the powers of various animals in new ways. We do see a nice little flashback of Mari as a child talking with her foster mother Patty. The young girl is heartbroken as she's being bullied at school about being a foster child and being abandoned. Aside from pulling on heartstrings, this flashback shows us Mari receiving the Tantu Totem as her foster parents had been waiting until that right time to give it to her, basically. The odd thing is that Patty knew it belonged to Mari's mother. Makes me think the foster agency knows a lot more about her parents than anyone's been told at this point. The story progresses as we meet a couple of new characters that initially seem to be more on the villain side of things. The first is Professor McAllister, whom Mari visits for information on the totem. He takes a big interest in both it and her. He reveals the probable location where the stone originated from, as well as about the totem actually being meant to allow someone to tap into what he calls the Asha or powers of the animals. Next, we see a strange woman that is contacted by McAllister, as apparently they have some sort of business arrangement. We learn she is the one behind the gang attack and wants the totem and Mari. She could end up being a replacement for Mari's uncle from the comics, and who knows, they may actually have her be Mari's aunt or something. In episode 3, it looks like Mari is going to begin to get in touch with her powers, and this apparently attracts the interest of Team Flash, and in particular, one Cisco Ramon. So like I said, I'm really impressed with this little series so far and think it's definitely a brilliant way to introduce some new and possibly less mainstream characters into the Arrowverse. Again, depending how Vixen does, we may end up seeing the character cross over into the live action Arrowverse. Another thing that has me really excited about this series is that it opens up the idea of magic fully into the Arrowverse. Magic was lightly touched upon in Arrow Season 3 with the Lazarus Pit, but this will be the full realization of magic, which is going to open so many doors for the writers and creators in the Arrowverse. Alright guys, those are my impressions and thoughts on Episode 2 of Vixen. I definitely hope you guys are checking it out. Go and let me know down in the comments below what you think about the show so far. And if you like the idea of these kind of mini web series to introduce these characters. Like I said, I think it's a brilliant move. It's going to allow a lot more characters to be introduced in kind of that small web series format. And you know, maybe some of these characters eventually are going to cross over to live action. Alright guys, if you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and pound that like button. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. That way you can receive an alert when I post my next video. To subscribe to my channel if you're on your computer, go and click that subscribe annotation on the screen. If you're on your mobile device, there's a subscribe button just below the title of the video, as well as I will provide a direct subscription link down in the description below for you. If you have gone ahead and subscribed already, thank you so very much. I sincerely appreciate you coming on board, and I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Alright guys, all that being said, I'll talk to you real soon now. Bye!